G'day Blender Heads and Digital Labourers. A question I see in the forums nearly every day is, where do I get good materials for my 3D scenes? Considering a good material can turn a simple polygon plane into this, it's a fair question to ask. So today I'm going to show you the top places I get my materials that I use every day in both my personal and professional projects. This list is going to have both free and paid services, but I'm going to bet that most of you are here looking for the best free resources, so let's start there. First up we have Free PBR. As the name suggests, these materials are all free. Free PBR is probably the smallest library on this list, but there's still a whopping 300 plus materials available for download. You can either browse for a specific material to download, or you can download the entire library in one go for a measly $11. Keep in mind that you get continued updates for that price, so any new materials that get added to the library won't cost you anything more. Some of you may remember the website known as ccotextures.com? Well, they recently underwent a name change and they're now Ambient CG, so don't forget to update your bookmarks. Ambient CG has over 1,300 materials at the time of this recording. That's enough materials to keep your projects rolling over for quite some time to come. Like free PBR, you have the option of downloading the materials one at a time for free, or you can download the entire library by becoming a Patreon supporter. And it's $5 per month. $5 for 1300 materials is an absolutely insane deal. Polyhaven has recently undergone a name change too. Do you remember Texture Haven or HDRI Haven? Well, those two sites have now combined to create Polyhaven, which now houses materials, HDRIs for lighting, and a growing collection of free 3D models. Like Ambient CG, you can become a Patreon member and get instant access to the entire library, or download assets one at a time for free. To get access to the entire offline library, you'll need to join Patreon at $7 a month, which gives you access to a growing library of 222 materials, 468 HDRIs, and 79 models. CG Bookcase tends to be my go-to place for free materials. They too have recently had a big website upgrade, but they did keep their old name. There's over 500 free materials here, 535 at the time of recording, and like the others, CG Bookcase has a Patreon option to download the entire library, this time for only $3. Okay, that takes care of our free options, but for those of you who want some really high quality materials, and you're willing to throw a little cash at the problem, I can certainly recommend Polygon. That's right, of course Blender Guru's massive material library made this list. Polygon has the option of both a buy on demand and a subscription model. $10 with the on demand option will get you 20 credits, which actually only equates to two materials, and if I'm being honest, is probably not the best use of your money. The subscription plan, on the other hand, for a single month starts at $16, but gets you 120 credits, which is significantly better bang for your buck. Considering nothing stops you from signing up for a single month, it's kind of a no-brainer to pay the few extra dollars and get six times as many credits to spend. Now there's no doubt that Polygon comes at a significantly higher price point than, well, the free alternatives, but Polygon has more materials on their site than the four previous mentioned combined, with well over 3,000 materials, over 240 HDRIs, and nearly 400 3D models available. Woo! What you're paying for with Polygon is convenience. It's a one-stop shop that covers just about everything you could possibly need. I often use Polygon because they've got that one specific material that I need and nobody else seems to have it. Remember that Polygon does have a slight bent towards architecture. That's not to say that you won't be able to find the appropriate materials for your high fantasy medieval designs, just that there's definitely more clean modern materials available. So far all the options we've spoken about are for downloading textures, but there is an alternative option when it comes to add-ons. Now, textures are really cool because they can be used in any 3D software, which is obviously a big advantage if you're using multiple packages. But on the flip side, add-ons allow program specific features, like being able to add a material with a single click, or the ability to create new materials and add them to your own library for later use. And of course, you can always bake out your textures so that they can be used in other software. Now, my personal experience with material add-ons is a little bit limited, hence why they're only in this honorable mentions category. I'm not going to recommend them until I've personally tried them. But if you're interested in checking out some add-ons, go check out Extreme PBR, Materialic, and Fluent Materializer, all of which I've personally got my eye on. Extreme PBR makes the list because it has a whopping 1,100 materials in its library. I've actually recently received a copy of Materialic, and although it's still too early to say if I'll be incorporating it into my workflow yet, 
So far my experience has been positive. I do plan on doing a proper review of Materialic in the future, so subscribe if you don't want to miss that. Fluent Materializer is the new kit on the block, and it's grabbed my attention because it's the only option on this list that creates procedural materials, and that's definitely worth some further investigation. That's it for this video, Blenderheads. Don't forget to feed the YouTube algorithm monster by liking and subscribing. If you've got your own recommendations, throw them in the comments below and help others find more of these great resources. And if you're in a position to do so, go sign up to at least one of these Patreon accounts. Your donations really help these free platforms stay afloat. Until next time.